Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I have Maggie here and she is going to be sharing with you the books that she read for October, November, and December. Maggie is in fifth grade. Some of these you may have seen in my sixth graders video. I'm gonna link that down below um, and go check it out. And these are videos that are requested. People really enjoy this. You guys are showing them to your children. So I hope that they are beneficial. If there's anything that we miss that you're interested in when we're talking about the books, please put it down in the comments and we will add it to our next one. And we're going to go back to doing this monthly, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. We are about to get started. So what's first? Soft place to land. A soft place to land. You may have seen this because I'm pretty sure my oldest read this back in like September or so. Um, this one is by Janae Marks. So how do you feel about this one? Is this like a fave of yours? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's Why a, did you it's like a favorite. it? I mean, it's a good book. It's a pretty good book. What does it talk she, about? Synopsis. She moves from a house and um, into a small apartment and her parents start fighting because there's a lot going on about the moving and stuff. And she finds, um, through a friend at school, she finds this hideout place that kids at the apartment go to whenever they just feel overwhelmed. So that's or, the soft place to land? Yeah. Ah, Brenna didn't say that in her video when she talked about this. That's interesting. So, okay, that is a summary of this. Would you read it again? Yeah, yeah, yes. I would read it again. That's a big deal. If Maggie says she's gonna read a book again, that's big because she'll put a book <laughs> down in a heartbeat, y'all. This is my, I'm not gonna say she doesn't like to read. Would you say you don't like to read? No, I, no. there's certain, I'm picky enough. She is very books. particular about what she reads. And it's not even necessarily genre specific. It's more of just like, the storyline like it has to be something that catches her within the first two chapters or she's like mom I don't want to finish this book <laughs> so it cannot be like a slow start it has to like jump right in so this one is a book that she would reread all right what do we have next just right Jillian just right Jillian this was on your list right and she just got mm -hmm. to it cool okay I did a list I'll link that video down below of like video of videos no <laughs> of books that I selected for the girls for this year. Now, they've added on tons more than that, but this was one of the books that I selected for her. So tell us about Just Right Jillian. So in her class, they're doing a egg hatch thing. And so like uh, every other day, they look at the eggs and see how they're growing and see if they're growing right. And um, back at home, her grandmother, I think it was, died. And she would always um, knit with her and stuff. And so, when her grandmother died, she stopped knitting and she was starting to come out of her shell because her grandmother kept telling her to always be to who she was. But also when her grandmother died, she went back into her shell and it took her a long time to come out of that shell. And the eggs helped her with that because when they hatched, they were all very happy and she thought she could come out of her shell and be happy too. Ooh, I like that. Did you like this? Yeah. So tell me a lesson you learned from this book. Be who you are and be don't who you are. shy away. Yes, I like it. This was the reason why I chose this specific book for Maggie. If you watch the video where I shared the types of books that they were gonna read, I had a reason for choosing the books and that's one of them. So that Maggie would know and could read about girls coming out of their shells and being who they are and accepting who they are. So I'm glad you got that from this book. Would you reread it? Mm, I don't know. So that's probably a no. Mm. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it was a bad book. No. You just wouldn't reread it. Yeah, no. Okay. All right. Moving on. What do we have here? One Crazy Summer. It's a series. One Crazy Summer. Okay. So we're going to talk about the series. So One Crazy Summer is the first one. Then we have PSB 11. And then we have Gone Crazy in Alabama. And all of these books are by Rita Williams Garcia. Now, we read One Crazy Summer as a read aloud. We didn't finish the book. Oh, we, we didn't read a couple, finish. A couple of chapters. <laughs> yeah. We read a couple of chapters, like three years ago or something. Mm -hmm. And it just didn't appeal to the girls at the mm -hmm. time. So they're like, can we stop? Well, here we are now. And she has read all three of them. So tell me about the series together. Okay, so when they were younger, um, the, there's three kids. Um, they're all they're all sisters. Um, Vern's the youngest one. Vanetta's the middle child, and uh, Delphine's the oldest. So when Fern was a baby, um, their mother left because Fern was their grandmother's 
middle name and uh, their mother and their grandmother didn't get along well at all. So she left him. So that's what this is in the book about them going to see their mom? Is yes. that what it is? Mm-hmm. So, okay, so tell me, what is PSB 11 about? Their dad remarries and his wife, she's not what they're used to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, she's A not different what Different type they're of used like to. energy in the house type yeah. of thing? Uh-huh. Okay, so then what happens with that? And so then there's like a whole thing where she has, she puts a hat on and they're about to go to church. Well, every married woman in their church has to wear a hat and an afro does not <laughs> go not well with, with the afro. afro. Yes. And so this is a little tap here, just it's very, it's, it's sad. So the grandmother like tells the wife that she has to wear a hat. Every married woman has to wear a hat. And she's like, a hat didn't go well with this afro. And she says, still, every married woman has to wear a hat. So the dad goes, Marva, you're wearing a hat. And I was like, that's rude. She doesn't have to wear a hat. <laughs> so anyway. how'd the book end? Or don't maybe don't tell them how the book did. No, no, but Delphine, it's called PSB 11 because Delphine feels like she has to take over everything and help oh. with everything so it's called psb 11 even though she's 12 because she's trying she's supposed to be younger who she is so her mom is writing her letters from california uh, there in new york and she's writing her letters from california and saying ps just be 11 be 11 so tell me a lesson you learned from this book don't try to do everything when you're young don't try to be a mom or be someone who's not there when you're not Ooh, that person. I like that. I think I was just talking to my girls the other day about how I feel like our society grows our children up too fast. My girls are mature, but it's not because they've been around people who are really mature. And there's still a lot about life that they are not aware at their age. They speak very well, but they still, there's lots that they don't know. But I told them, I feel like our world just grows our children up too fast and has them take on too much responsibility and all the things we were just talking about that so I love that I tell my girls to be be your age be a child that is what you're supposed to do right now so be a child okay let's talk about gone crazy in Alabama so they oh, this go... made you smile so it was like that one <laughs> it's funny <laughs> okay let's um, talk about it. so they go visit their grandmother down in Alabama Fern the youngest one thinks uh figures out she wants to be vegan because she sees the chickens and then killing the chickens and eating them <laughs> and then it sounds like your sister uh, the um, the cows that they use for the milk stop producing the milk and so Vanetta um wants her cereal with the milk and so one night she tries to go to get the milk and she's mad at um Delphine the oldest for always telling her to stop messing with her the morning she leaves to go to the town and a tornado comes around the city and sweeps her up um, in the tornado and she gets thrown into a tree and like a lot of bones are broken so she Ooh. comes back to the house from the hospital um their mother comes back their dad comes back from new york and they go to the hospital and she's okay and she comes back but she's sitting on the couch and she tells delphine and fern i'm sorry i'm so sorry and of course i mean she got swept up in her tornado because she went out to do something because she was mad and she wanted something that she didn't really need it ends with the family coming together and Vanetta figuring out that her older sister was just looking out for her so what lesson did you learn from this you can be annoyed by your sisters but listen to your sisters and learn from your sisters Mm, that's good okay would you reread this series again yeah yes Mm -hmm. okay three books in the series two of these did we buy these i guess we did oh one of the library checkout so we'll probably eventually since they will reread it that usually is like my telltale, like of whether or not I'm going to actually buy the book. If the girls are like, yes, I'll reread that. So if it's a library checkout, then I'll go and buy it. So we will be buying PSB 11 because I know that they will read it again. Both the girls. Okay, what do we have left? Um, we have um, the track series. Mm-hmm. Ghost oh, it goes this way? Okay. Uh-huh. We have the track series. So this is Ghost and two. Patina. Two of the books. There are a total of how many books? Four. Four. There are four books. These are books number what? What numbers are these? One and two. Books one and two. And these are actually rereads? Yes, rereads. Like, second time, second time rereads. She read these twice. (laughs) You're reading the other one online, right? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm reading the last one online. Which is called what? Lou. I I finished Sunny. She did Sunny online, and she did, now she's doing Lou. And this is a track series by Jason Reynolds what do you like about these books that you read them a second time I think it's a good storyline because they as he meets new people he 
finds friends that he... This is Ghost? Yes, okay. in, in Ghost. Um, he, find, he finds friends because his past is, like, horrible. His parents, um, his dad tries to kill his mom and dad with the gun because he's on so, drugs and it's crazy. Totally these crazy. are books about children who didn't get dealt the best hand <laughs> cards, right? And they use track, right, to be their outlet. Maybe they were getting in trouble a lot and the teacher came along or something and introduced them to a sport and now they are really thriving in an environment that they are not expected to thrive in. Would you say that that's a good summary? Yes. Same with Patino. Her mom lost her legs because of diabetes. Her dad died. So um, she wasn't getting in trouble. She had a lot of life struggles going mm -hmm. on. And she and found track as an outlet. Her little sister thought that her mom's legs had run away. And so I think it's kind of funny and sad, though. But she, she didn't understand why her mom didn't have legs. She was like, and when are so they coming back? Her little sister Maddie asked Patina to write a letter to the legs and asking them to come back. And it was very, very sad. Yeah. Patina said she almost cried because she didn't know how to tell Maddie that her legs weren't coming back and like her legs are gone forever. So how did Patina get into track? She ran for her mother. Because her mom didn't have any legs. Mm -hmm. Cool. Would you reread this again? Yeah. <laughs> yes, for the third mm -hmm. time. Okay, what else do we have here? What is this? It's such a long name. It's the end of the world and I'm in my bathing it's suit. It's a bad ending. I think it's a really bad okay, ending. Okay, don't share the ending. What is the general theme of this book? What are they? What is it about? Him getting left and like it's basically... Left being, where? Okay. Somewhere with the beach and his parents and brother go to the party at the beach and they never, ever come back. Like... Ever. Never. Never. Uh-oh. He's doing laundry. But you said it was he a bad ending. Back. A bad ending. Would you read it again? No. No? <laughs> okay, so maybe <laughs> the, this is They not. never come back. This is a Scholastics <laughs> book. It sounds kind of sad. Okay, moving on. Justin Reynolds. Not Jason Reynolds. Justin Reynolds. Okay. Okay, what else? Sophie Washington. Sophie Washington. Oh, if you guys want to see my sixth graders book list, make sure you check down in the description and make sure you subscribe because we do these videos every single month okay sophie washington i think am i out of order uh, yes you are out of order excuse me she's particular about her numbers all right this is a series that my girl started reading like three years ago mm -hmm. and <laughs> they came out with two new books over the last year and so i thought we just need to complete the series. If you've read the whole series, then why not finish? So she finished up the series. These are books 12 and 13. Okay, what is a Lemonade Day about? They have these little um, events in school and one of the events was Lemonade Day. So each group or whatever made a lemonade stand and made their own signature lemonade and uh, whoever made the best lemonade won a contest and ah. they won it. So Sir Sophie and her friends, they mm -hmm. want it? Okay, cool. And then this one is Sophie Washington Treasure Beach. What um, is it they're about? on a vacation with their grandmother. Their grandmother has this old metal tracker. So her little brother uses it and finds this um, old uh, map. And so they use the map and follow all the clues and gets this treasure underneath the sand. <laughs> cool. These are not it's on... actually The treasure is actually candy oh, at a candy fine. store. These are not on my girl's reading level. I would say that these are probably if you have a really great first grader who can read first, second, third, fourth grade might be pushing it, but they're fun reads, okay? So just an easy read. So if your fifth grader or your sixth grader wants to read them, I say go for it. You can check them out at the library too. All right, do you have anything else you wanna share? No? Okay, thanks for being here, guys. Bye.